The KU women's basketball team was in Lubbock, Texas on Saturday to face Texas Tech, looking for their first Big 12 win of the season. Jayhawks were 0-9 in conference play coming into the matchup. Despite making more field goals, hauling in more rebounds, and holding the Lady Raiders to a season low 44 shot attempts, the Jayhawks fell to Texas Tech 54-44. Kansas held Texas Tech to 1-8 of eight shooting over the last 10 minutes, but the Lady Raiders were automatic from nearly automatic from the free throw line in the fourth, knocking down 10 of 12 from the strike to fend off a potential Jayhawks comeback. Freshman forward Ch Tyler Johnson had herself a game, leading the Jayhawks in scoring with a career-high 12 points. Sophomore guard Kayla Cheadle also scored in double figures, tallying 11 points on 5 of 10 shooting. Next chance for the Jayhawks to earn their first Big 12 win will be tomorrow night against Iowa State in Allen Fieldhouse. Tip-off is scheduled for 7 p.m. Kansas Swim and Dive continued its recent dominance inside Robinson Auditorium on Saturday. In the final home meet for the seniors, Laura Billsboro, Bryce Hindy, Chelsea Miller, and Haley Molden, Kansas extended its home event win streak to 40, including a sweep of Nebraska Omaha, 187 to 88. Jayhawks have not tallied a home event loss since the first weekend of November. The seniors all showed out in their final home meet. Bryce Hindy earned three victories, including two individual wins in the 50-yard breaststroke and 100-yard breaststroke. Hallie Molden, she claimed first in the 200-yard freestyle, and Laura Billsboro finishing third in the same event. Chelsea Miller, however, claimed second in the 100-yard butterfly. Jayhawks will head to Ames for their final duel of 2015-2016 season against Iowa State. The two-day meet set to run from February 5th through the 6th. So with that, the swim and dive season is complete, but it's a sport where they'll train all year long. In April, the U.S. holds Olympic trials for open water competitions, and with the sport being in the pool, it really is a year-round affair. This guy sitting to my right spent some time with the swim team to talk about an event they're preparing for that will be held right here in Douglas County. Hey guys, we're going to go on the top. For KU Swim and Dive, timing is everything. We're on at 12-8. And a coach Campbell has clocked in 14 years as KU's head swimming coach, same amount of time that Libby Walker has been swimming. Libby is a freshman on our team and, and has a really bright future in open water. Now, come September, Libby and about 200 other competitors are going to take the skills they learned right here in the pool to this now frozen lake about 15 miles south of campus. We've been wanting to do this for a while within the ranks of collegiate swimming, of highlighting an event that would showcase our open water swimmers. And with that, the first ever collegiate national open water championship was put into motion. Well, once the water warms up. As for the logistics with the county, Director of Public Works Keith Browning is helping with that. Well, he simply emailed me uh, and said that they would be interested in doing this, that this was something that the county would um, allow, and uh, we thought it was a really neat idea. For the athletes in the water, the lake is going to be very different. It's a whole nother sport almost. Um, pool, like, like here, it's, it's confined. You have four walls, you have a black line in the bottom, and the water's clear. Open water, the water's not always clear. There's never a black line, and it is, it's out in nature. The way, way God intended us to swim. But that doesn't seem to bother Libby. After all, this is the first national championship. I think it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a great opportunity to be part of some, making history. It's going to take time for the lake to warm up, but until then, Libby's going to have to deal with the pool. Hank Cavanero, KUJH News. The event at Lone Star Lake will be shorter than the World Championship or Olympic Open Water Championships. The standard race is 10,000 meter swim, while the collegiate race will only be 5,000. The event is scheduled for September 17th. And Kansas track and field team claimed their victory in 16 events on Friday at the Jayhawk Classic, KU's final home meet of the indoor season inside Andrews Pavilion. Now, sophomore Sharon Lachetti notched the fastest time in the 3,000 meters in the 30-year history of Anschutz Pavilion, posting a time of 9.29.24. And junior, i not even going to try that name, Livingston claimed the fastest 600-yard time in the nation this season at the meet as well, posting a time of 1 hour, 9 minutes, and 56 tenths of a second. Next up for KU track and field is a road trip to Lincoln, Nebraska, where it will take part in the 41st 
annual Frank Savine Husker Invitation, February 5th through the 6th. I feel like I'm just saying these dates. It seems like everything is happening this weekend. Yeah, it's gonna be. A, it was a busy week for KU sports over and last week. And it's gonna weekend. be another busy week. <laughs> another busy week coming up. Never stops.